Hey guys, Forex here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is a new tool for my workbench. So yeah, I'm going to get it out of the bag and show you what it is. And as you can see, what I picked up is one of these KS Dure T12 soldering stations. Uh, now before I start using this thing, I want to make it electrically safe uh, because uh, these things um, are not earth ground uh, this is an anodized case an aluminium anodized case and it's not electrically earth ground uh, so I want to do a few mods to this uh, ground the case do some mods internally uh, before I start using it so yeah if you stick around I'll crack on with that What I want to do now is to show you how, um, you know, decent equipment um, is properly grounded. Now, what I've done is I've uh, connected a negative probe uh, of my multimeter to the ground point on my bench power supply. And I've got my multimeter on continuity. Now, if I take the positive probe and I touch my radiator, hopefully you can hear that beep. Um, and that's because radiators in the UK are actually grounded um, and as you can see uh, it's grounded through my bench power supply now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some equipment and show you how they're electrically grounded now same again guys I've got the negative probe on my ground point of my power supply I've got my multimeter on continuity now if I take the positive probe and I touch my HACO soldering iron can you hear that that tells me the tip uh, is grounded now I'm going to do the same again but this time with my desoldering gun and uh, my desoldering station again I'm set up exactly the same if I touch the tip with my desoldering gun you can hear that beeping so that's grounded um, we'll check the actual case ground and there you go, there it's beeping again. And um, we'll check one of the screws. And the probes come out and just put that in here. And there you go, case ground as well. So, uh, yeah, that's what uh, equipment should be grounded like. What I want to do now is show you the problem with the KS Dure T12. Again, I'm set up exactly the same. Um, if I take my positive probe and touch the case, as you can see, this case is not grounded uh, in any way. Now that's a problem guys, because if something shorts inside there, uh, because the actual case is floating, um, it shorts to the case, you touch the case and uh, yeah, you're going to get a, a massive whack on it. So the first thing I want to do before I start using this is electrically ground it and make it safe now to get in this thing there are eight screws in total uh, there's four in front hopefully you can see them there's one there there's one there there's one here there's one here if I turn it round there's another four screws there's one here there's one here there's one here and the final one is here if I remove those screws I will be able to lift off the top lid and get inside this thing and as Dave Jones would say we're in like Flynn <laughs> now to my surprise guys uh, this has been redesigned um, I was expecting to see a green board uh, that was version uh, 2.04 as you can see this is version 2.05 so this uh, has been redesigned and just looking at some of the the problem areas with this thing that what it used to have is it looks like they've fixed at least one of them i've not looked at the the bottom yet um, and i'll show you what one of them uh, used to be and i'll, I'll put a picture uh, to show you what the problem uh, was and hopefully you can see uh, in this one how it's been corrected if we look at this trace here i don't know if you can see it because it's you know it's a black pcb um, 
it's got black solder mask on it there's a trace here now in the old version this trace was a lot thicker and it was very very close to this heat sink now this cap is the main smoothing cap and obviously this going over the top of that um, this could have shorted uh, to that trace with it you know if it kept vibrating and um, yeah it would have been bad times um, but what it looks like they've done is they've moved that trace away from the heat sink uh, because normally what you do to, to correct this is you just desolder the heat sink heat sink and you lift it up a little bit and some you know some people put capped and tape under it just to you know make sure it's a, a little bit safer um, but it looks like they have actually fixed uh, that problem there um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the thing out and look at the bottom and, the, and see if they've fixed the other problem and looking at the back uh, it also looks like they fixed uh, another problem as well um, this trace here this is your main smoothing catnet on the opposite side now there used to be a little bit that used to come off and go to another component just here and it was very close the creepage was very close between that uh, and this post for the heatsink on the opposite side um, but it looks like they've actually got rid of that component or they've probably moved it somewhere else uh, and they've widened the gap between this trace uh, and the post support so yeah whoever's manufacturing these it does look like they're listening now because uh, two of the most important things have actually been redesigned uh, with this power board um, I don't have to mod the power board um, that much uh, there is a mod I have to do but it's it's not it's not a difficult one I don't have to do any cutting or, or anything like that um, so yeah all I really have to do is that mod and ground the case um, so yeah I'll crack on with those two mods I've made up everything I need to, to ground the case I've got some earth cable got a crimp on the end of it with a round circular connector i've got some nuts uh, and a bolt and some lock washers uh, what i need to do now uh, is drill a hole uh, through the case just here uh, so i can get all this through it and then i can solder the ground wire to the actual ground pin just here so i'll crack on with that and then come back As you can see, this thing should be grounded now. I've connected a grounding strap to the actual earth connector. Um, so uh, I'll show you also what I've done as well. Um, if you look at the actual, uh, where you screw the case together, I've ground away some of the anodization um, on the back plate um, and the front plate. I've also done it on the front there and the, the back. Uh, of the actual case itself um, it's just so when you clamp this all back together again um, you get good uh, continuity throughout the whole of the case because uh, you won't get that with it obviously being anodized uh, but now that uh, coating has been removed it should uh, all come together and, and get a good earth now the final thing I want to do is actually earth the tip uh, of the soldering iron because there is no earth between the tip uh, and the actual case I'll show you that I'm connected here on the uh, actual connector and if I touch that you can hear that it's got continuity but if I touch the tip of the soldering iron there's no continuity so the tip is not earthed uh, now to earth this is very easy all I'm going to do is run a wire from uh, this point here uh, to this point here and that will earth uh, the whole of this board here uh, and that will give me continuity on the tip of my iron so I'll go ahead and do that uh, and then come back now just by adding that simple grounding wire here just connecting those two parts together you'll see now I've got my negative probe on the grounding strap and if I touch my soldering iron tip there you go I've now got continuity so this thing uh, is electrically 
grounded now. Now the very final thing I want to do uh, with this is put a bit of insulation between the actual PCB uh, and the bottom of the case and now to do that I'm going to take some thick um, double sided tape I've stuck that to some card you can see that there and I'm just going to stick that to the bottom of the case above where the PCB goes so yeah I'll crack on with that and then come back and that's the insulation underneath the PCB and the outer case so yeah let's get this all back together and give it a test um, we're all back together and plugged in through the mains IEC connector I'm not switched on at the moment um, I've got my multimeter on continuity I've got my ground uh, connected to one of the leads on my multimeter uh, let's test the case are we electrically grounded now and that's case ground so as you can hear that we're electrically grounded the case and let's see if the tip is grounded as well and hopefully you can hear that so yeah this thing uh, is officially electrically grounded <laughs> Now this thing is electrically grounded, um, I'm quite happy to use it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's power on, let's see, Let me get the temperature going up on the iron and it's gone into standby and if, so if I press the button uh, it will start warming the iron up and I've got it set to uh, 320, you can see it just there and it's got the temperature uh, now if I put some solder on the iron you'll see it melt there you go so that proves uh, it still works <laughs> so yeah what I'm going to do guys is this is going to replace my uh, HACO um, because obviously this is more modern technology uh, these tips are, are built the actual element is built into the tip uh, not the uh, on the HACO it's actually uh, the old way of doing it where there's an element actually in the thing and then the tip connects to the element where uh, this is more modern so the tips uh, heat up uh, a little bit better and quicker and there it is in its new home uh, with a nice new soldering iron stand now you can probably tell from the tips um, I've already been using it for a couple of days um, but what I'm going to do with this thing is I'm going to use it for a couple of weeks uh, give it a fair shot um, because if it turns out to be rubbish I can always fall back on my uh, original HACO 888D so yeah there you go guys hope you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like, comment, subscribe all the usual stuff and as always I'll catch you on the next one and I can touch it now without fear of electrocuting myself. <laughs> Catch you next time, guys.